Good morning everyone and happy Monday. I am home from my holidays. I have been away, if you didn't know, I've been away in Devon visiting family for the past week and I'm finally home and sleeping in an actual bed and my bed feels incredible. So it's currently 11.01, just morning um, and I this week have a little Vida filming to do. I'm going to film at least two videos a day I think. Um, I'm finished filming for Vida on the 22nd this Sunday so that I can start uploading the videos next week and they'll all be scheduled um, for when Vida is and stuff like that. I'm super excited but I do feel a little bit wary, I don't know. Some of the videos are a bit men, not really what I expected and like just video views are down and like I just hope that people watch to be honest. So this week's book is Thunderhead by Neil Shusterman, the sequel to Scythe, also by Neil Shusterman. Um, I am 100 pages into it already and will finish it through the course of the days. I'm thinking of reading and just sitting down and reading today and playing No Sims because I didn't read last night because I was playing Sims. Just putting my videos on to import and stuff and like just sitting down and reading the rest of it because I'm really into it, I'm just having no time right now. I actually have quite the update for reading and in terms of the week vlog i think it's not next week but the week after today we are on monday the 16th that means a level results day is a month today and i'm not ready also we're on weekly 40 i forgot to say that so not next monday the monday afterwards like two weeks today um there will not be a weekly vlog from monday the 30th of july that affects someone uh, uploading vida I don't know, I'll figure it out. But there won't be a weekly vlog from the 30th of July until the 5th of August. There is a booktubeathon happening from the 30th of July until the 5th of August. Um, so I'm going to be participating in that. So there won't be a weekly vlog, but there will be a weekly vlog over on my second channel, which is always linked in the description box below. I just thought I'd warn you in advance so you're not really confused. Not next week, but the week after where there's no vlog. Um, I'll, I'll remind you next week as well, but I just thought I'd put it in there. This segment has all been about reading. I do have one more thing to update you on in regards to reading. I changed up my shelves um, because last time I did my shelves, I didn't actually do my shelves. Um, my sister and Waverly did them for me. But because I've been on BookTube for quite a while, like over a year or, or, or coming up to a year, um, I decided to redo my bookshelves the way I want. I thought I'd give you a little bit of a tour because I'm not going to be able to do it in like a main shaky shelf video because I've already done a bookshelf tour this year. Um, but if you don't want to, then you can just skip ahead. I totally understand. Top bit. And this bit are exactly the same, except for Marbles has a new friend and he doesn't look very happy about it. This is the same, that is the same up until Scythe. There's Scythe sticking out because it's one of my faves. Thunderhead goes there. Um, there's two new books there and then that's the same. I think the majority of this shelf is the same up until Heartless. And then we have Mark, which is the same. Court of Thorns and Rose, which is the same. <clears throat> Carval is the same, that's the same, that's poking out this time, and then Shadow and Bone is there. The top is the majority of the same, except from this Buddha. This is the shelf that has had major changes to it, I feel like. So this is all the same up until like, an abundance of Catherine's, and then I've put my Shaki shelf, um, what is it called, a light box in there? So this is the shelf that you see when I film booktube videos. Those are my Holly Bourne books, that hasn't really changed. This shelf, instead of becoming a feminism, LGBTQ+, John Green shelf, it's become kind of a favourite shelf because Holly Bourne and John Rio are two of my favourite authors. And then down here we have LGBTQ+, and feminism, and kind of politics like Thug, um, Dear Martin and the Poet X, race politics and gender politics down there. And then we move on to Strictly Contemporary because I kind of like it like that's all contemporary and it goes into strictly contemporary here and then i've moved that because that used to be on this shelf um and i've also moved good night story for rebel girls this is kind of like historical fiction here um and then at the, the last one we have like classics and poetry like we have rupee core there we have all the classics there and then up from the poetry because i only have two real poetry books i'm going to try and get more um, I have like all of the um, children's books and stuff. And then quickly over here, I really have cleared this shelf up. If you've seen it in vlogs, then you'll know how much of a mess it was. Here we have some sociology folders that I'm not sure if I've passed or failed sociology, so I've kept them just in case. I've also got my camera, my DS there, some revision cards left over from that I couldn't fit in the folder, my 18th badge, and then all of my games, um, including Wii, PC, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS4, and Nintendo 3DS, which is there. Um, I've got my little printer from Polaroid that attaches to my phone which doesn't work because the prints are really expensive and I have Hey Hey, I have my Wonder Woman cut with the light box letters in which I probably won't change so I'll put it, just put it over here. Down here I've got my uh, 
um, drive for my computer and then we have my camera box which is there that I don't use and then we have a candle with a fucking flower in it god knows and then we have my strings which I'll talk about in a video oh that could actually be the extra Vida video good job Shakira but those are my strings you'll understand soon and then those are some family pictures that I kept losing I'm sorry if you found that boring but like I just thought I'd put that in there because I'm really proud of my shelves and I can't do another bookshelf tour because I've just done one on my booktube channel. Plans for today are just to film my two or three Vida videos depending on how productive I'm feeling. It's super duper hot and I don't think I can be bothered to put a full face of makeup on but I'm gonna have to because I'm filming. I'm gonna go ahead and get some breakfast and then I'm gonna film my two videos and then I'm gonna sit down and read for as long as I can because I really want to get some reading done. Good morning everyone and happy Tuesday and of course they're cutting down a tree while I'm trying to vlog. It's currently Tuesday and I didn't vlog anything else yesterday because I vlogged way too much yesterday like it was five minutes um and I thought you know what they've had enough content for me for Monday I decided to just leave it for today but yesterday when I stopped filming I managed to get some red and I managed to get five Vida videos all sorted edited rendered with thumbnails and now I only have like nine or so left i managed to get to page 236 of thunderhead as well um goodreads says that i'm just under halfway so i think while i'm on the bus i actually haven't told you where i'm going i'm going to meet callum in town i'm going to take my jeans back to primark they didn't fit me that i brought the other day hopefully they'll give me a refund i'm really hoping that they give me a refund um because i want to get a bag out of it instead i'm gonna meet callum in town because he's got some stuff to do as well and i think we're gonna grab some lunch so i think i'm gonna read a little bit more thunderhead on the bus there but i tend to not want to um read on the bus when it's really hot like when there's loads of people on it so that's that and also this denim jacket was put on protect my shoulders from the sun and it's gonna come off at some point it's currently 11 p.m on tuesday and i haven't vlogged at all today i think i vlogged this morning when i told you where i was going what i was doing and stuff but i met up with callum and i got a full refund for some jeans that didn't fit me and i also brought some stuff as well i also read a little bit while callum was playing for honor and I just need to update you on a few things. So the first thing that I bought was deodorant. <laughs> this is gonna be so boring and so stupid, like why would you put it in the vlog? But I decided to get some new deodorant because I think I mentioned this already, but my deodorant that I'm using right now doesn't actually help. It just covers sweat. So like I decided to get the Nivea Pearl and Beauty one, quick dry, 48 hour protection. Because it was on offer and I'm a cheap bitch. <laughs> the thing I also got was this lipstick. I got a new lipstick. And it's in the shade Plum Velvet, which is 23. And it is from the brand Collection. And look at this. Look at this baby. I would swatch it, but I can't right now. I was going to update you earlier when I still had the swatch on. But like, I was at Callum's, so I kind of couldn't. I will wear it tomorrow and I will show you when it's on because I think swatches don't do it enough justice. Packaging is like beautiful and I can't wait to have this in my collection. Got to page 300 of Thunderhead. I am very much so in the middle of it and I can't wait to finish it so I might have to stop vlogging. I'm thinking about getting myself a book sleeve which is basically if you don't know you basically put your book in it when you're putting it in a bag or like you're transporting it around. All of my bags are damaging my books. Book sleeves are kind of expensive um, so I'm gonna see if I can like try and buy one for cheap but I don't think I'm gonna be able to. If I can that's a bonus. So I am really enjoying Thunderhead at the moment despite it having a turned up corner because of my stupid bag. I am really enjoying it. There have been some new characters that have been introduced that I absolutely love and I adore. And I found out today that all of the Scythe series including Scythe First obviously have movie deals and I'm so fucking excited because I love this book series so far and I can't wait for the third and final one to come out. I think it's the final one anyway. I don't really have any plans tomorrow. It's Wednesday tomorrow. It's my holiday day tomorrow. So I have to film a main channel video, I also want to film at least two Vida videos and a booktube video. So all in all, I'm be filming four videos tomorrow. And I'll see you tomorrow morning where I'm probably going to chat some more shit like this. Look forward to that. Good morning everyone and happy Wednesday. So I have no main channel video at all today. Um, nothing planned, nothing edited or scheduled or anything. I need to get out of bed, but I just can't. Set my alarm for eight and it's now quarter to nine. Like why didn't i get up i had such a broken sleep last night um a very broken sleep because i just kept waking up i'm really paying the price of having a broken sleep but 
I'm gonna get up, quickly get some breakfast, sort my shit out, do my hair and makeup, maybe film my Booktubeathon TBR first. I sorted it last night, and then I'm gonna need to film my uh, main channel video, which is not gonna be too hard, and I don't think it'll be too long. I have to edit and upload by half past four. I can do this, right? Yeah, I can do this. Let's go. So I just got dressed and put some makeup on because I'm filming and this is my new lipstick that I was talking about yesterday. But this is my lipstick that I brought yesterday and I'm feeling like I am Veronica Sawyer right now. And this is just, my lipstick is incredible. I like this lipstick colour a lot. Excuse the fan, but it's way too hot not to have it on and vlog because I've had it off to film, so I'm having it on to vlog. So I've now successfully filmed and edited my video for today. Um, I was about to say tomorrow because that's normally what I would say, I was going to say, but it's today. We left it to the last minute, it's now 11 o'clock and I hopefully will have it uploaded in time. The last clip you saw I was kind of stressed and I was really tired still so I didn't really explain it properly. It's not the fact that I was worrying about uploading it before 4.30 my upload time because I've got plenty of time. My mum and my sister want to go to Home Bargains and we're going to have a fam trip to Home Bargains apparently and so I have to upload it before then. Right now it's about halfway done, just over halfway, and I'm thinking that it will take about half an hour to upload, maybe? It'll take about 20 minutes with like processing and stuff, um, and it was half an hour, so I was right. Yay for having fast-ish internet! everyone and happy Thursday I think it is which means I only have a couple more days to film Vida and I really need to get off my ass and go and film some um so I need to go and get ready and stuff but I thought I would hop on the vlog and say good morning I am gonna get up and do some filming um I don't know how much I'm gonna get done because some shit has just hit the fan and I'm going to be needed for support but I don't know when and I am quite like shook so like I'm gonna have to film still but like maybe not as many as I'd like to um, and I also haven't read as much as I like to either for that reason because I was gonna read last night but then it happened last night and I was just like so I'm going to try and read some more because I don't think I'm needed at this precise moment. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get some stuff done while I can, or try to anyway. I've been in bed for like the past two hours just kind of like freaking out. So I'm going to try and get up. It's about 11 o'clock just morning. I'm going to go get some breakfast and get ready and then I'm going to film some stuff. Probably not anything too much. Like I've got some character quizzes I want to film. Today is not the greatest day. Um... And if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't need to know. I think today is going to be quite a sad day um, for people. So. I'm about to do my makeup to film some Vida videos. But I thought I would show you this thing that I got yesterday from Home Bargains. That I forgot to show you last night and when I filmed this morning. But I got this bag. Excuse my windowsill, it is kind of grubby. But like... Look how big this is. I can even carry a spare packet of wipes with me like everywhere I go. It is like a toilet juice bag, I think, but it's like just big enough for all of my makeup and I've got all of it in there like, that I use on a daily basis. But like, yeah, this is my new makeup bag and I thought I'd show you because it's really pretty and I'm going to be using my Wonder Woman um, bag for different things like toiletries and stuff like that. So, yeah, this one's pretty big and I have some room to buy some more makeup, so I'm really happy about that.
So I'm currently reading Thunderhead and something really funny has just happened. Scythe Beyonce. Scythe Beyonce has entered the building. I can't fucking handle this. Good morning everyone and happy Friday. Is it Friday? Is it still the morning? It's Friday, it's still the morning. We're good. Today is my very last day of having filming day. What is going on there? <laughs> Today is the last full filming day for Vida 2018 and I'm starting to upload it and schedule it at the weekend and I'm honestly so excited for you guys to see some of these videos. They're not all the best, they're not all my greatest videos but some of them are really good and I'll take the fall for those. <laughs> this morning all I've really been doing is I got breakfast, I got up, I watched two episodes of Brooklyn Nine-Nine and now I'm about to film the rest of Vida and get ready and stuff. I have four to film, like yesterday I have four to film um, and I think it's entirely possible. Yesterday I think I got four filmed in like an hour and a half, an hour-ish so hopefully I can do it by 12 get them edited and then maybe start scheduling them today so last night i got to page 411 i think 412 of thunderhead i am about 80 percent done according to goodreads i am really excited to read the rest of this and i just i need to but i have other things to do and i swear to god as soon as the last video is edited slash filmed depending on how productive i'm feeling i am opening this bitch up and reading the last 100 pages i'm really excited to see where it goes but not excited because i think my favorite character is going to die and I am not ready for it. I'm not going to film me getting ready as a time lapse because you've already seen that. And there's only so many makeup montages I can do, but I will see you when I'm finished filming. <laughs> This is what happened. So I just finished filming my last video of the day. I haven't entirely finished yet. I've got one more to film tomorrow and the intro video, but I think I can like kind of put that off for a few days. Oh my God, I'm so happy to be done filming today. I'm so sweaty. I went to Audi in the middle of it. I just, I'm so sweaty and I'm ready to just chill out, I think. I was about to get really mad at someone for flushing the toilet as I was literally about to vlog but then I realised it was me that flushed the toilet so never mind I just now finished Thunderhead and my god was it a ride and a half I gave it a 4.5 stars on Goodreads and I'll link the review down below if you want to go and see that and then there'll be an Eva follow on on my booktube channel so that's always linked down below anyway but I'll link the Goodreads one as well Thunderhead for me was really good but Scythe was such a strong read for me probably one of my favourites of the year and may even be my number one spot at the moment so this book wasn't going to beat it and I think it was kind of wrong of me to feel like it was going to because it really wasn't it was still really good and I will link again the full review on Goodreads and on my booktube channel down below. My favourite character didn't die as I predicted a few clips ago and I'm very happy about that but people did die in this book and I did cry a lot. So a lot of you will be happy to know that there is a return of my TBR jar. Basically if you are new to these vlogs or you've forgotten this is my TBR jar or TBR cup. TBR basically means to be read and I've put every single book that I want to read in 2018 that I own in this jar so I picked two out and decide between the both of them which one I want to read. I am feeling myself getting into a little bit of a slump. Looking at my Booktubeathon 2018 TBR, which looks a little bit hefty, and I'm thinking, hmm. I'm gonna take it slow next week with reading um, and over the weekend because obviously the Booktubeathon is a week on Monday. I swear to God, if a clock of orange comes out, the book that comes out is on my Booktubeathon TBR. I'm obviously not gonna be able to read it. So, so the first one I've pulled out is If I Stay by I think it's Gail Foreman, and the next. A clockwork orange. Do I give in and read this fucking book? Because it comes out every single time I do this segment on my channel. It comes out every single time. This is said book. It's by Anthony Burgess or Burge and it is by far a classic. It isn't too long. It is about, I want to say 150 pages, 140 pages. So I think I can probably read this over the weekend and kind of have it count towards my July wrap up. Look at that font. It's just, it's so much of a commitment and so this weekend's book is A Clockwork Orange finally by Anthony Burgess because it's came out of my pot again and if that creepy face isn't a reason to read it i don't know what is good afternoon everyone and happy saturday i am about to go off to callum's but i have a clockwork orange in my bag and he has a driving lesson from half two to half four i think which is two hours which i really do think i can finish it in that time so 
we'll see how that goes. I do have a huge headache, like I think I'm getting a migraine. So I'm gonna try and stay off my computer and stuff today um, and possibly tomorrow as well, just so I can like distance myself because I've been on it for like two days straight. But I am gonna be going to Calms in a sec. I just came in here to get an ice cream. I wanted to film my Thunderhead review today, but I decided not to because I've got a headache. So I'll probably do it um, next week at the beginning and then post it whenever, so there's that. But yeah, I'm gonna go off to Callum's now and read while he's in his driving lessons. I'm currently at Callum's, as you can probably see. I am in his bed and I really don't feel very well. When I stopped vlogging earlier, when I was telling you about what my plans were, just my health was like, eh. I think now that I feel a little bit better, like I've cooled down a lot, I might put the fan on. I might stand near the window, I'm not sure. But it's about 4 p.m. and Callum gets home from his driving lesson in about half an hour and I kind of want to see how much of a clockwork orange I can get done in. I'm going to try and not read it very fast, I'm going to try and read it slow. Slower than I normally would actually read, like trying to take it all in because it's a classic and although it's really small, the writing is like the bible and it is really dense. So I want to take it all in, I want to like it and I'm afraid that I'm not going to. Too high, too high. I know I look like really shit because <laughs> I've just been like kind of asleep, kind of not. But I'm literally 10 or 11 pages into this and I have no idea what it's about. So if you've read this, please explain. It doesn't even sound like English. It sounds like old English. It sounds like it was written in Shakespearean time. I've looked it up on Goodreads and apparently it's about crime. I'm like 10 pages into it or something and I have 131 to go. This is going to be a long read. If, I, if someone asked me, what are you reading? I'm reading A Clockwork Orange. What is it about? Could not tell you. We're wiping Callum's windows down and it is the most satisfying thing ever. Dun dun dun. Just go from the top, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so satisfying. You can't see it, but I can, and it's really satisfying. I think I can be a professional window wiper, babe. Yeah. Oh, you've made that dog's here, that. Hey, I'm a first timer. Hello. So it is now the end of Saturday night. And guess what I'm doing on my Saturday night? Watching Callum play Fortnite and various other games. I haven't really vlogged that much today. I did wake up a little bit late and I actually had another nap because <laughs> I wasn't feeling too good. And I'm hoping that I don't sleep tonight because I really really want to read more of this just purely for the fact that I can say that I've read it. I'm on page 24 and while Callum plays some more games and this vlog renders and I think I'm going to try and get to page 50. Good job! That was really good. I'm going to try and get to at least page 50 by the time I go to sleep. Um, I think I can do that. That seems like nothing in like an ordinary book that isn't a classic and isn't written in literal another language. But 25 pages in A Clock of Orange Speak is like the age of the dinosaurs is so long. I'm not going to go to sleep but I want to run this vlog so I can upload it tomorrow when I go home um, and I can start reading my 25 pages of this. Yes Callum, do you have something to say? No gifts. Meme is dead. I hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog. If you did, please give it a massive thumbs up and subscribe. I make a new weekly vlog every Monday and a main channel video every Wednesday. Don't forget that on the Monday the 6th of August, the 1st August of... Um, the 1st August of week. The first Monday of August there will not be a weekly vlog because I'm either weekly vlogging or daily vlogging. I haven't decided yet the booktubeathon. There will be more updates next week, I'll probably decide next week, but there will not be a weekly vlog up on Monday the 6th of August. There will be a vlog from the 6th to whenever uploaded on the Monday afterwards. I'll remind you again at the beginning of next week's vlog and the end probably. But that is all from me. I hope you enjoyed my week. I hope you enjoyed yours and I will see you this week for all of my videos. One, four, three. Bye. Bye. <laughs>